Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to increase your RAM memory. Uh, first of all, I, I would like to tell you that this, this method is just a virtual RAM memory, but it's working as an internal RAM memory. For sure, this will not harm your device and it's working properly on any Android device and any version of Android. So, before we start the video, I just want to ask you, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon to get notified when I upload a new video, like the video, and let's get started. So first of all, to do this process, you need to download from the link down there on the description uh, the app that I'm going to use in this video. So, or you can download directly from the Google Play Store. This method, this swap doesn't need roots. So just search there, swap on your Google Play Store, or you can download it from uh, any browser or any app store. You can download it as well as work it to iOS or Android. This app is working properly on any smartphone, right? We have here the swap no root the ape is working properly without root as i said before and this ape will create a swap file on your device and the device will start using the swap file as a memory ram so it's working properly don't worry yeah the ape has not any virus so it's trustful so click down there on install and just wait uh, it has uh, the swap ape is really smooth and uh, it has just for MB and it's going to work for following your Android device uh, As I said before, it's swap no root uh, The first time that I, I saw this ape, I thought that it was not working because this kind of apes or this kind of swap file Create you need the root, but this preferably working uh, without root So let's open it up and first of all, you, will, you have to agree here The privacy and police uh, of the ape, swap no root uh, Just keep going and click on agree Let's click on it and let's wait up uh, uh, let's wait the swap application at uh, start opening so as you can see here it's really simple and the app is really simple once we are here on the swap yes we are going to change here the swap size uh, you have to put any size that you want for my case I'm just going to create here one gigabyte of RAM memory so uh, so to create this swap size so remember that it is going to use your internal storage uh, so remember that and you have to you can put whatever you want here. In my case, I'm going just to create one gigabyte of RAM memory. That is 1024 MBs, right? So after that, once you create it, you will click on create swap. Right away here, let's create it. Let's wait here, the preparing, please wait. Uh, and as I said before, it's working without a root. That is the most important thing. You don't need to harm your device by trying to install root on your Android device, right? So, so the app is forcing us to watch an app to earn one credit, all right? So let's do it. We don't have anywhere. Okay, just go have to click right away down here on the watch an app. Click on it and let's... So let's click here on the right corner to close it. Okay, as you can see, when creating the swap file, one gigabyte of MBs, I mean 1024 MBs of your storage will be consummated. As I said before, will be your one gigabyte of memory will be consummated with the swap eight. Okay, you wish to continue? Yes, of course. We want to create and we will continue by clicking on yes and just we're going to wait it when swap file this may take a few minutes let's wait up all right as you can see the swap file successfully created on my device so let's click ok and let's see where the swap file it is so as you can see swap path is android uh data data and then a la code let's click Let's go in our internal storage to see it uh, by clicking on my files, then internal storage, uh, data, Android, then data, then uh, normal is used to be in the first option, a la core and file. As you can see, a swap file has created successful on my device. So this has one gigabyte of RAM memory, right? So now, before we start using this, we are going just here to make some changes on our device, as you can see, uh, by, by clicking on setting, on the setting icon. Then we are going to click on about phone, then we are going to click on software information, then click around seven times on build number. 
as you can see i have android 10 using my device and let's click around seven time on build number to activate all right guys so let's uh let's return here to, to find where is the developer option normally it used to be on the last option down here or you can see it by clicking there developer option let's go into the developer option so let's activate here some settings for example first of all you have to activate here the usb the body mode activate click ok then you have to click on force full genesis measurement once you did that you have to click as well enable tpu the book layers then uh you can as well decrease here the window dimension scale by clicking on uh 0.5x or you can turn off this animation all right yeah you can do the same thing as well on transition animation scale turn it off or you can put in 0.5x right the same thing you will do in animation duration scale as well then the last option here this you have to click on force for x and saa right once we did this let's turn and you are now ready to reboot your android device restart your android device then you will have the swap file working properly on your android device and you will see how your android will be working preferably with more performance than before right so after you did this process please comment down there and let me know uh, how is your android now after you did this process so okay guys i've been stopping from here and i hope you like the video if you like the video please subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon to get notified when i upload a new video like the video and i'll see you on the next one